Understanding idiomatic expressions. Master the art of omitting articles. Hello everyone, and welcome to our latest video on English language learning. Today, we're delving deep into a fascinating topic. Omitting articles with fixed expressions. And we're going to focus on a subsection of this topic known as idiomatic expressions. These expressions make the English language vibrant and unique, and they often involve rules that aren't seen in other contexts. Let's begin by defining idiomatic expressions. An idiom is a phrase or an expression that has a figurative, or sometimes literal, meaning. They are established by usage rather than rules. This means they don't necessarily follow the standard rules of grammar or syntax, making them tricky for English learners. For example, break a leg isn't a violent command, but rather a way to wish someone good luck. Next, we will look at omitting articles in idiomatic expressions. In English, we often omit the articles a, n, and the in idiomatic expressions. This might sound unusual because articles are essential in English, but idioms often don't follow the regular rules. For instance, we say, on cloud nine, and not, on a cloud nine, or, make sense, instead of, make a sense. The absence of articles in these idioms is a key part of their correct usage. It's now time to practice with some examples. Here are a few common idiomatic expressions where we omit articles. 1. Catch cold. This means to become sick with a cold. Notice how we don't say, a cold, or, the cold. 2. Have heart. This means to be brave or courageous. We don't say, a heart, or, the heart. 3. Take note. This means to pay attention to something. Again, we omit a or the before note. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try to use these idioms in your daily conversations to get a feel for them. That wraps up our discussion on omitting articles with fixed expressions in the context of idiomatic expressions. We hope this has shed some light on how the English language sometimes twists its own rules in the realm of idioms. But remember, idioms make the language more colorful and expressive, so don't shy away from them. Happy learning, and we'll see you in the next video.